praise the Lord. If you have your Bibles, if you would tonight, turn with me to the book of Isaiah chapter number 41. Isaiah chapter number 41. Praise God. I'm going to look at two verses. And uh, I've looked at these before in times past, but I found myself visiting them tonight and visiting from the, for this service. Um, the remainder of the month will be focusing upon Christmas, but I just wanted to focus upon a different word this evening, a word that will encourage us and help us, a word that will challenge us. And so, I, 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 um, how many of you have ever been in your life at a place where, you know, different circumstances in the Word of God sends you to, uh, to hear a fresh word and God gives you a fresh word and you hold on to that verse because it's what God has given to you for that season. And so um, I, I think it's so important to grab hold of the Word of God and to find something that will carry us through various seasons of our life. Amen. And I'm not just talking about uh, where the Word of God says, and this too shall pass. Amen. Uh, it's good to know that it doesn't come to stay, but it's going to come to pass. Amen. Anything that we go through, amen, the good, the bad, the pretty, the ugly, amen, it doesn't come to stay, but it's going to come to pass. And God's going to show us different things at, at different times. But I, the, the, part of what I share tonight will be a verse that I know God spoke to me in a season. And I know uh, Brother Dennis, he clings to the other verse that I'm going to look at ver first. But in the book of Isaiah, chapter number 41, verse number 10, God's going to give uh, uh, Israel a victory. And God's about to bless His people. Don't you love when God gives us the victory? Amen. There will be times in our life we're going to face the battle, but the battle's not ours. Amen. God's going to give us the victory. And I love those moments where God comes by and blesses us. And He's about to do that for Israel. The Word of God says, Fear thou not. For I am with you, be not dismayed, for I am your help. I will strengthen you, yea, I will help you. I will uphold you with the right hand of my righteousness. Amen. The progress in this uh, verse is, is, is amazing. I am with you, uh, he tells, but in the progression of the verse, he becomes even nearer. Amen. He says, I, I, I'm with you. Amen. Be not dismayed, for I'm your God. I'll strengthen you. I'm going to help you. I'm going to hold your hand. So each breath that he says this statement, he draws a little bit closer to those in Israel. Amen. To reassure them that he's going to work and move in their life. Isn't it good when God just draws a little bit closer? Amen. You feel his presence. You feel his touch. Amen. You feel the grasp of his hand in yours and you know that he's with you. Amen. Now, there are seasons where we'll walk by faith. Amen. And uh, it won't be faith that we feel, but we'll be walking by faith. And we won't be walking by sight, but we'll literally be walking by faith. But then God comes by, Sister Rachel, and He nudges us, and He speaks, and He reassures. And then, Sister Stacy, He grabs our head. So there's a progression in, in the preciousness of God as He comes near to us to strengthen us and draw us us closer to Him. Amen. I'm going to uphold you. As I look at this, verse number 10, that there's personal courage that each person must have, each Christian must have on their pilgrimage, on their way home. Courage is important. Amen. Courage. Strength. Courage is that quality of mind and spirit that gives one strength to uh, refuse to accept defeat. It allows one to meet danger and difficulties with firmness. He says this, he said, fear not. Sometimes we just need courage for the journey. Courage that we don't need to be afraid. It's that quality that in our mind and deep in our spirit and soul that says we can face this. 
I love that old hymn, Jesus Hold My Hand. Amen. Uh, I, 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 the, the, the Bible says, uh, when I kneel in prayer, I, or the song says, when I kneel in prayer, I hope, I like to say, I know I'll meet you there. Amen. Because when he holds our hand, we know that he meets us there, Brother John, and there's courage for whatever we need to do. Amen. Courage in our journey toward home. Amen. It casts aside every fear. Amen. Every time that we meet stress and anxiety, it casts it aside. And there's a determination that I can meet the goal because I am walking this journey with Christ. Amen. Uh, the, the cross is, is before me and the world is behind me. And because He showed victory in the cross, He shows me that I can have victory in my everyday Christian life. I can and walk it and I can do it. Amen. 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 We need that in the journey. The determination, the strength. But the good news is, as he spoke and he said, Fear not, I'm with you. How about we put our name in there? Fear not, for I am with you. And for me it would be Bobby. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with the right hand of my righteousness. You know what he says to every believer? He says, you know where your strength comes from? It comes from me. It comes from me. So Sister Rachel, as I hear you echo your family member that you love, you're concerned for, and feeling that weariness of life, amen, and we can project and we can say, but we know strength comes from this individual from God. Amen. Oh, we pray for folks and they're believers and we know that their strength comes from God. And we look at us, either, either in, in difficult situations and weary situations, whatever the season of life is, amen, that our strength comes from God and fear and anxiety and everything else has to go because there, there's a fresh determination in the child of God that you can make it. Amen. I know that I can make it, the songwriter said, because He put it in my will. He speaks to us and He says you can make it. Be determined. You're on the whole way home. You can go through whatever life may bring you because I am with you through the water, through the fire. Amen. You will make it because I'm with you. Amen. Listen to me. He says, I'm taking away fear. He draws a little bit closer and He says to us, be not dismayed, I'm going to be your strength. And all of a sudden He draws even closer and He grabs our hand. You can make it! Amen. Hallelujah! It's the voice that speaks. How many times have we faced an impossible situation? From every angle we looked at, there's no way out. And we reason with all the powers that's within us only to find ourselves in a place of exhaustion. And we wish that we would just have someone that would appear and tell us what to do. Good news. He does. Amen. He does. How am I going to do it? How am I going to make it? How will this ever work out? And we analyze it. And we feel the anxiety of it. We feel the frustration of it. We feel the fatigue of it because we've done all that we can do. How is this going? I just wish I had someone that would tell me what I need to do. All of us have been there. Amen. Some of us may be there. Amen. But the good news is we do have someone who can tell us what to do. Amen. And he's always there and he listens. And when he speaks, he says, fear not for I am with thee. Amen. There's courage for the journey tonight because God is with us. Amen. That's the message of Christmas. Over and over again, it is repetitively said, fear not. Amen. The message of this season to each one of us to as believers is this, fear not, for I am with you. Amen. Amen. We may not understand it, but God does. And we may not know the end result, but God does. And we may not know where to go at the fork in the road, but God still speaks and He grabs us close. Amen. And He holds our hand and He guides us in the right path. There is someone who is speaking. There's courage for the journey tonight. Right. Hallelujah. His voice.
voice, he speaks. But the vision that he gives with eyes of faith we can see all the way to the end of the journey. <clears throat> because God has always spoken to the children of faith and he points them in the right direction and he shines down on their path. They say, I don't know which way to take. We may not know all the details of the journey, but God's able to cast a vision in those who love him to know that he's with us all the way. He said, I'll strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with the right hand of my righteousness. It's okay. The journey can be seen that everything will be all right. How powerful is that for us tonight as believers? To know that no matter what, the situation, the diagnosis, no matter what the struggle, is that it will be all right. Because the vision has been cast. Not only does he have a voice that speaks, but he has a vision that he gives and he says, it will be all right because I am with you. The Bible says that he gives a vision and a backing and the vision will speak and it will not lie though it tarry wait on it. Amen. For it shall speak. Amen. When God says, I will be with you. Amen. We may be in times of uh, moments where we just don't know. Amen. But we have to rely upon the vision that he gives that everything will be alright. Amen. He will provide for us. He will help us. Amen. The journey is an eternal place with him. I was so uh, amazed, and, and I'm, I'm not a super big a political person, uh, but, but, but I have to tell you, there was a part of me that yesterday when I read of uh, George Bush, even at 94, his passing, there was a bit of sadness for me. I did not know this, or at least remember this, but there's a wonderful cartoonist, and if you didn't see this, look this up. But when his wife, Barbara, had died nine months prior, a cartoonist had drawn a, a wonderful cartoon that Barbara had entered into heaven. And there when she got to heaven, there was a little girl named Robin that was her daughter waiting on her. And you can see Barbara Bush running to her daughter, Robin. And then yesterday, that same artist presented a picture of a plane and that had landed and George Bush had got off of it. And there was Barbara and there was Robin. And they were saying, we were waiting on you. Hallelujah. I want you to know something that even in the valley of the shadow of death, amen, God has promised that the journey is okay, that he is with us. Amen. I have the faith that he places in our heart, the relationship that we have with him. He casts the vision that what Whatever happens on the journey, I am going to be there and I'm going to be with you. I, I, I pray that, that none of us face death anytime soon. Amen. And I don't believe that we will. But I do believe this, that no matter what the journey, God already has it predestinated and lined up for us. And he's with us. Thank God. Hallelujah. <clears throat> the vision that he gives. Because he said this that I see and I hear and I understand. In Hebrews 13, 5, he said, I see, I hear, I understand. And then let's add this to it. I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. He is with us. He does see me. He knows the way that I take. Job said, and when I come forth, I'm going to come forth as pure gold. He knows the way that I take. The vision's cast that he's with me. He knows it. He's already there. I'm limited to being here into today. But God is not. And he's already there. The vision's cast. He's there. And he's listening. And he hears. And he sees. And he's holding my hand. How amazing for us tonight as believers to know 
that God is there. And the way is okay. Even if our path isn't clear right now, we just have to look with the eyes of faith. The light will shine. And he's going to point the way. He cast the vision. Not only does the voice he has speaks and the vision that he has, he gives, but the victory that he assures. Because he said, I will uphold you with my right hand of righteousness. It's God's right hand. I'll say this again a little bit, but that right hand speaks of strength. God is strong, and he's going to uphold us through this. God's going to take care of us. It's not our own strength tonight. It's not our, 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 our physical strength, but it's the Christian supernatural strength that's given to us through Jesus Christ our Lord because 1 Corinthians 15, 57 tells us that He always causes us to triumph. How can we do that? It's not our own strength that makes it, but it's His strength that's perfected in us and He upholds us with the right hand of His righteousness. He's able tonight to uphold us so the victory He assures it's His. Amen. He guides us. <coughs> he speaks to us. And His strong arm, it protects us. And that's where our courage comes from. It's easy to know that you're okay when you're in a place of protection. It's nice to know that during the storm that you have a nice warm home to live in, isn't it? It's nice to know that when it rains, it's okay. I'm under the umbrella of protection. But the greatest knowledge is, is that God is protecting us. How amazing that God protects us. When we walk through the fire, it doesn't kindle upon us because, well, the fire proofing of God's round about us. And it's good to know that when we go through the flood, that the water, well, it's shielded from us. And that's the hope that we have. Several years ago, and I want to be careful of the analogy that I make because I don't even really know this movie, but there was a movie that came out that said, Hope Faults. It's an old title to a, an older movie. I can't tell you anything about it, but I do need to tell you something about the title. The title is wrong because hope doesn't flow. The Bible says that hope is an anchor in our soul. So it's not shifted everywhere, but the hope that we have in God tonight is an anchor because He speaks his voice reminds us that I'm with you. The vision that He gives that I'm your God and I will strengthen you and I'll uphold you with the right hand. I'm with you on the journey. The assurance, the right hand of my righteousness. He upholds us. And then I feel like it's almost reiterated again in verse number 13 and strengthened and given back to us. Where God speaks and He says, For I, the Lord thy God, will hold your right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. God Himself is going to be strength and courage and power, and God is going to be their glory. Amen. He's working personally on their behalf of Israel. And He has them right in His right hand. It's amazing sometimes with Bella and Brinley, how that when we're walking, sometimes if I just hold their hand, it brings to them confidence of where we're going. They know that they're not going to be separated from me. They know that daddy or mommy is going to take care of me. They know that it's going to be 
all right. And so it's the same therapy that is given by God and the reminder that it's my protection and it's my promise for you. I want to tell you that he's speaking to Israel here, but he's speaking to us as believers as well, that he is with us. Praise God, he's with us. Isn't the message of Christmas once again? Call his name, Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. I want to close by saying a few things. He is our God. He's holding our right hand. So much can be said about that. I said that the right hand is a hand of strength. But it's also a hand of commitment. When there was a handshake and there was an agreement, Brother Justin, it was a handshake of commitment. It was a handshake of covenant. Mr. Dot, we've entered into a covenant relationship with God. And because of this covenant, Brother Craig, He's with us. He's not going to leave us. Brother Dennis, there's nothing to fear. Nothing to fear. It'll be all right. Because we're upheld by His right hand. It's also a sign of friendship. The Bible says, greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friend. Amen. We have a friend that sticketh closer than a brother tonight in Jesus Christ. And he's there with us. He's strengthening us. And he draws a little closer. How is it when life is and you're overwhelmed? And I know that we don't always, you don't share all the contents of your heart with everybody. But there are those close friends people that you know are your confidants and you share with them and when you share you can pour out and you feel that coming together maybe they'll put the arm around you pat you on the back or that's what God does come on get closer let me grab your hand I'm with you and I am for I just want you to know tonight there's courage for our journey. There's courage for our journey. Sister Beth, if you can come to the piano. I'll try to work on getting some more room around the altars next Sunday. I apologize. It's just been a little overwhelming trying to get everything ready. So there's a lot of just debris at the altars still. But if we could just bend our hearts and before God tonight. If you're able to stand, can we just do that? And as we enter into one of the busiest seasons of the year, maybe some of us come with already burdens upon our hearts. Maybe the uncertainty of direction that God has for us. I just want to whisper to you once again. Take courage in the journey. Would you take a moment tonight for God to speak to you? And as He speaks, but you hear the preciousness of his voice. As he says, fear not. Fear not, my child. I'm with you. Would you hear the voice get a little more intense, a little closer as he says, be not dismayed. For I am thy God. Would you allow the breath of God to breathe upon you as you feel His breath as He says, I will strengthen you. I'm going to help you. And all of a sudden, tonight would you feel the clasp of His hand in yours as He says, I will uphold you.
with the right hand of my righteousness. Would you clasp a little tighter to the hand of God tonight? As you say, God, I hear your voice as it speaks. And Lord, by faith, my eyes see the vision that you cast. That you're with me to give me victory and to help me in this journey. Fear, anxiety, worry, stress, it all has to go. Strain and frustration. The answer to having someone say, this is the answer, this is the direction to it. And know that He always ensures victory. Thank you.